Okay, so here we've got another uh, compare question where uh, we've been given some data and we need to compare what happens when one set of plants have been given fertilizer and another set of plants hasn't been given fertilizer. They've given, kind of given you a hint in the question that to compare them, um, this set of data, uh, they've calculated the smallest, the largest and so forth and the quartiles. Um, so they want you to compare the distributions um, so therefore it would be sensible to calculate the same things for this set of data here. So the smallest, so this is with fertilizer. So the smallest with fertilizer, when we look at the list it's already in size order, so 22. The largest was 72. Uh, the median is going to be 47. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 before that number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 numbers after it, so therefore 47 is in the middle. Um, so the median is going to be 47. The lower quartile, so this is with fertilizer, um, so the lower quartile is a quarter of the way through your data. Um, so if there's seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven data points below the middle area, then the middle of that would be that one there. One, two, three data points before that, and one, two, three data points up to the middle. So that'll be the quarter way. So that'll be the lower quartile value. So that'll be 35. And then the upper quartile value, well, we'd count um, three the other way. So one, two, three and there's the upper quartile value again because it's got three values above it and three values below it down to the halfway point the median position so that's three quarters of the way through the data that's a quarter of the way through the data um, so we've got our values to do our comparisons so always when you do comparisons with data then you should be looking to use an average and you should be looking to use a range and in this case um, because they've given the idea that you're going to calculate the median then the average we'll use will be the median average and the range uh, that we'll use will be the uh, interquartile range because they've mentioned quartiles so the interquartile range we calculate by doing the upper quartile value minus the lower quartile value so for this one so if we put down here IQR so we can keep all the data nice and neat and tidy together with the uh, question because the examiners will look for information within your workings out uh, within the question itself so here we've got um, the 47 take away 26 uh, which will be 19 um, no it won't 47 take away 26 is 21 um, 40 take yeah, 21 and then we're going to do the for the fertilizer we've got 56 take away 35 which is 21 okay so basically then we've got this idea that we've got to write some sentences because of the idea of the word compare so what we're going to say is that the median average for the plants given the fertilizer was higher suggesting these plants are typically taller so they're bigger and the interquartile range is, um, was the same for both sets of the, um, data so basically we're going to say the interquartile range suggests that the spread of the heights for the middle 50% of the plants was the same. So in other words they were equally spread out um, in the middle 50% area uh, between the lower quartile position and the upper quartile position. Okay so that's another example of a comparison question. Um, basically just always remember that when you're comparing data you must compare an average and you must compare a range. Um, this particular one gave you the hint about the median um, but if you had a list of numbers it could equally be that you calculate the mean average and compare uh, the ordinary range and so forth. Over